All right, what is up my friends? Look at another money video here on CoolStuffInc.com. We got a wild one for you today. Standard deck, uh, Felix Slew took this deck, or a similar version, I changed it a little bit, to uh, top eight of a standard challenge uh, last weekend, two weekends ago. And what's going on? We're getting sluggy here. Toxrill the Corrosive. Seven mana, seven, seven, legendary slug horror. A lot of words here. <clears throat> Let's get a lot of words going here. Beneath each end step, put a slime counter each each you don't control. Creatures you don't control get minus one, minus one for each slime counter on them. Whenever a creature you don't control, the slime counter on it dies, get a slug. Pay to sack a slug, draw a card. And uh, note, this is not your end step. This is every end step. So every single end step, all your opponent's creatures get minus one, minus one. And then when they die, you get slugs. Oh, just an unbelievable, unbeatable card against creature decks for sure. Uh, costs seven mana though, so... We're going to cast it sometimes, of course. We have Treasures, we have uh, Shambling Ghast, and Prosperous Innkeeper. But we're our Reanimator deck here. We're playing a little Digraph Rebirth here. A little Unburial Rights action. Five mana, Reanimator Creature. One less, cost one less for each creature that died this turn. Seven mana, Flashback, same cost reduction. And we have this uh, kind of cool, like, creaturey, reanimator -y deck here. We've seen a lot of his stuff in the black decks in the format. Shambling Ghast, Deadly Dispute, and, uh, and Felstinger. But we got Prosperous Innkeeper and Asikis Chariot as well. Another great duo. So a lot of stuff where we can just kind of go wide and play creatures. Also have this little blood package though. With blood Tithe Harvester and Voldarian Epicure. Which give us blood tokens. Which can help discard cards to get our reanimation stuff going online. Uh, or just loot in general which is pretty sweet. Of course Blood Tithe Harvester is also removal which is kind of nice. And uh, just a kind of a crazy mid-rangey reanimatory deck. Uh, it's capable of putting Tox Roll in play you know, on turn 3 or 4-ish. With a really really good draw. Uh, but also can just cast it and uh, just playing a lot of gear cards too. Just Chariot's really good. Felstinger's really good. And the deck just seems super sweet. Cyborg's got uh, Duresses and Go Blanks for your control matchups and your Epiphany matchups. More removal spells. Uh, Path of Peril, kind of cool. Meat of Massacre, kind of cool. Against Creature Decks. Fourth Tox Roll because Creature Decks is just so unbelievably good. And two Shoals Shatter for the Dragon matchup. So, wild, wild deck here. Uh, we're going to try it out and see how it goes. First, quick word from our sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Alright, round one. I'm getting sluggy. Getting sluggy. So we got Mulch Mulch. I didn't mention Mulch, of course. Good way to put cards in the graveyard. Uh, a little awkward, we can keep here. If Epicure, if it's Hapland, we can go uh, Glade into Land Mulch into or Innkeeper. Let's play Glade first. I want to guess Mulch or Innkeeper on two. Looks like a White Weenie deck. Luminarch Aspirant, sure. And there's old Toxie. Old Toxie. All right, so do we want an innkeeper here, or do we want to mulch here? Pretty sure we're gonna play innkeeper. Next turn gonna be mulch plus epicure. I'm not gonna cast epicure up the love treasure. Yeah, okay, we can just cast this card. You know, definitely a, a possible option for us. With all the treasure in the deck, casting tox roll in turn five is just totally fine. So is pretty good. So obviously, they take, they take Tox Row. We can't discard it or cast it, but we got two Moltis here to look for some reanimation stuff, which is pretty cool. We got Felstinger and Epicure. Taking that Felstinger, very interesting. Taking Felstinger. Gonna put a counter on the Flyer and get him for two. Sure. Obviously, we're a little light on removal in our main deck, but. Play land. That would just be kind of help us ramp into the uh, Tox Roll also. Let's play uh, this. Let's play Mulch. We get a land. We mill over a Chariot and two Scorpions. It's fine. Make some blood. Gain some lives. There you go. Again, Dispute will allow us to cast Tox Roll next turn. Or I guess not. We can Dispute next turn and Tox Roll the following turn after. Uh, do we need to stay alive here? 
long enough to pull that off, of course. Adeline is very, very good. Uh, it's a pretty powerful draw from our white player here uh, on the play. No real removal in our main deck. It's mostly just all slug for game one. So fast draw here can definitely punish us, as we uh, can see it is right now. Um, it's funny. We could sack the blood to dispute. You're actually just going to... Hmm. I'm just going to take this. This might be a little too much, a little too fast here. We'll see. Draw an innkeeper. That's actually, actually a really good draw. So we play innkeeper. Um, we're setting up for Tox Rail next turn. Play innkeeper. Gain a life. Make a treasure. We can cast old Toxie next turn. The question is, will we be alive or not is the, uh, the issue. But... They have the flyer too. Yeah, we'll see what we can do here. We say go. We block Adeline. We block Aspirant. We deadly dispute. We take pretty good hit from the spellbinder. Get old Toxie in play, and then we get to start eating some tokens, making some slugs, and shrinking the spellbinder. They're gonna pop the Aspirant. Kind of a weird choice, honestly. Here comes the clowns. And the more well, the, these that die, the more slugs I get too, which is kind of sweet. So let's block here and here. Um, I want to keep Innkeeper in play to gain life, honestly. So block like this. Play that with dispute. Hopefully no second Spellbinder, because that would suck. Sack that. Make treasure. Draw the two cards. Shambling Guest, a Diagraph Rebirth. All right. Well, please don't elite Spellbinder me. And I think we can maybe squeeze this one out. Oh, nope, they had Spellbinder. All right, sure. All right, so we're dead. Uh, so pretty perfect draw from our opponent. Uh, I didn't have a one drop, I guess, but on the play, double Spellbinder, Adeline, Aspirant, super fast clock. So game one's tough. Game one's tough, obviously, with no actual removal in our deck. So, I mean, I only imagine they take the Tox roll here because we're going to cast it next turn. Yeah, okay. So I believe that will do. We draw, oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that enough? I think that's enough, folks. Um, I think that's enough. So, uh, the old Thoughtseize bug. Here comes Toxie. Toxie gains a life. No attacks. Say go. Kill all that stuff. Make some slugs. Gain three life. <laughs> you know, we have a we have a saying in magic. And the, the saying is, better lucky than good. Brutal Cathar. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, might be back in the, uh, back in the saddle here. Yeah, that might just do it. Alright, oh, uh, block. What can we draw now? I don't really have any actual ways to kill the Brugathar either. Ay, ay, ay. I thought we were going to get there, too. I thought we were going to get there. Um, nine's a lot, you know. Nine's a lot. I think we're just dead. Um, yeah, I don't know what we can possibly hit here. All right, yeah, we see. All right, almost, almost. Uh, they had it all. We got lucky. They still had it all. But now we bring in obviously a lot of good cards here. Bring in uh, a Tox Rill, Meat of Massacre, Soul Shatter, Path of Peril. Uh, we cut the Hunt Masters, and uh, questions here. What else do we want to cut? I think I had like two Felsingers. I don't really want to be uh, losing too much life. I have four more cards. Wow. Wow. Um, do I actually want Soul Shatter? I don't think I do, actually. Hmm. Harvester Massacre. Maybe we shave like Epicure. This Epicure block's like okay. We have two Path of Peril and three Meat of Massacre, which is obviously pretty awesome. Innkeeper Dispute Mulch. We got all the Felstingers, maybe. Just not really play on that axis. Um, don't want to lose life. It blocks pretty good, but not crazy. Let's try this. So now we have a bunch of rats in our deck, so we can actually kill creatures, which are pretty important, aside from just our slugs.
on the fly. Uh, we can keep this. Not a great hand, but it's fine. Put a mulligans. They got a one drop? Yes, they do. Stonebinder's familiar. Sure. Harvester. Luminarch Aspirant. I think I'm almost fine just blocking here. I guess we maybe just kill the Aspirant. Rock fail. Alright, so not, not, not great draws here, obviously, having drawn only lands, but should I kill the Aspirant? Pop the blood. Try to improve our hand a little bit here. I guess we could actually just like rebirth back the harvester. That just seems pretty good, actually. Now I think about it. It's like we have rebirth anyway. And like it, it plays really well with the harvester because we kill a thing, get a thing, and then this costs two less regardless. So kind of cute. Kind of cute. Another aspirant, sure. Hopeful Initiate. A Seekus Chariot. Um, do we just kill Aspirin again? And just get it back again? I kind of think so. Play... Eh, I should have actually done this first. And blood a land away. And a Chariot? Sure. It's not really the plan A, but it's working, honestly. Elite Spellbinder, sure. Obviously our hand is pretty uh, resistant to that. And they have a 4-4 four, four stone binders, so we're gonna get train too. It's pretty gross. Shambling Guest. No way to sack that one yet. Alright, let's kill Stone Binders Familiar. Play Seeker Chariot, play Shambling Guest. They can't, uh, if they have someone, to, I guess they could train and then destroy the Seeker Chariot, but. Adeline. Okay, Adeline's good. This is a play. This is a very strange play. Um, I don't know if I get this one. I don't know if I get this one. What am I missing here? Yeah, I think that was a... Uh, I think that was a ill ill advised attack for our opponent. Uh, ill advised attack. Um, all right, game three. We're gonna draw a massacre or a wrath or whatever path of peril that game. So, um, pretty good to win the game. We don't draw one of those cards. Obviously, those are our, definitely our, our aces in the hole. It's either fast slug or one of those. The little vampire guy was pretty good though, honestly. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. Keep Innkeeper, Meet of Massacre, Dispute. It's all pretty good. Path of Peril also. Sun Gold Sentinel for the main deck, uh, Graveyard 8. Love that. Epicure. Alright. Um, make the green, make the Innkeeper. We do gotta draw a land here, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, really good hand. Really good hand. So we draw literally any untapped land, and this game is uh is ours for the taking with Meetup Massacre. I'm gonna block, because I think that like that needs to happen if we're gonna win this game, so I'm gonna block. Untap land, please. There it is. 
There it is. And of course, now Massacre's in play to gain us life as the game goes on. Stone Binders and Sun Gold Sentinel. Alright. Wombo combo. We draw a land. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I mean, not a land, it's a shambling guest. Now I can't dispute the guest for value. We can uh, play Epicure. We just sack the Epicure right now, just draw some cards. I just sack the blood. Does the body matter? It body doesn't matter, actually. Let's just sack this. Ooh, we didn't draw any lands. That's awkward. Um, second meetup massacre is not bad, obviously, but this wombo combo here. Stonebinder's familiar plus uh, sun gold sentinel. All right, we're at fourteen. Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Another Seekish Chariot? Oh, you're killing me here. Killing me. Alright, I'm gonna blood away uh, one of these chariots. Try and draw land. We did draw land. Um, and now we can Epicure Shambling Guest. Cathar. I mean, they're going to have a pretty large Stonebinders familiar, but we get to massacre the board. The board minus Stonebinders familiar. And then Path of Peril will clean that up eventually. You want to blood another chariot? Just want to draw land here pretty bad. Cool. Alright, too many lands. Never mind. So meat hook x equals 2. Get back our shambling gas. Gain some life, say go. Now we have access to Path of Peril. Uh, we can we can cleave it for eight mana. It's a lot. We can just cast it for three. That's pretty good. And Brokathar again. I think we're golden here, honestly. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. And I think we hold the innkeeper. Next turn, just innkeeper chariot. Oh, that's not right. All right, sure. That should actually matter, so. All right. Gain some life. Five mana chariot. We're also at the point now where we can just cast slug if we draw it. So we have four slugs in our deck, and we cast slug if we win the game on the spot, so. That's pretty cool, I suppose. Pretty good draw. Pretty good draw. Alright. No more lands, please. I don't need to draw any more lands, that's for sure. Um, fire up Chariot here. Just make a, a cat. Just get it for four and gain, gain a life. Oh, I still can. So they get a knight. They get a moon rage brute. They get some first strikers. We can just jump block, obviously, for a turn, which is fine. Uh 
That's an interesting attack with the Aspirant. I'm gonna keep my Innkeeper. I might have uh, made a slight little error there again. Let's, uh, they're 12. Let's mulch. We hit land. We hit a rebirth. Nothing good to get back at rebirth, though. Um, honestly, the harvester is kind of cool, but... I should have played land into about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> We're still one short. It's pretty sick. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This costs eight. Now I don't even want to flip this anyway, so I'll just fire up the chariot again, I think. Obviously, chumping these first strikers, but gaining draining as we go. Ugh, that's pretty good. I guess it doesn't actually change anything. I was chump blocking anyway, so. Draw a slug, please. I'd love to just draw a slug. They go to six. Alright, uh, well, things are gonna die, so now we can, uh, definitely rebirth back. Rebirth targeting. I mean, probably Blood Tithe Harvester. I think I want to crew with Innkeeper. That feels five with these. Attack with just this. Kind of like want the trade with the adversary, so... I guess if I cast the Rebirth, though, they get to Moon Rage Brute back a creature. Eight to eat. I'm gonna blood. Hmm. Again, I don't really want to go to day because I get to exile one of my tokens. Um, which I guess isn't like the end of the world. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can rebirth or epicure and rebirth. Rebirth getting back the blood tithe harvester. That's good. That's seven to ten. They go back to day. We have two bloods in play. Harvester can kill the Cathar. All right, so they have to exile that. Cool. And now we kill us to get two things back. We have good chumps, and they're just dead on board to the swing backs. Massacre's doing its job really, really well here. Skyclave hits Massacre, things get interesting. Skyclave does not hit Massacre. And this looks like a free block to me. Alright, we like that, we like that. Draw land, loot it. Draw land, loot it. <laughs> All right, we'll say go, I guess. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> now it goes to night again. Um, <laughs> we got four slugs in our deck, and we're halfway through our deck. We've not seen a single slug yet. 
Ordain God of the Worthy. All right. Honestly, not. This is ridiculous. This is, this is a joke. All right. Um, sure. Okay. Mulch me. Two lands and a rebirth and a slug. Alright, thank god. This is not this now costs like a hundred thousand million. It costs nine, three, six, seven. Luckily I have a thousand million lands, so we can actually cast it. Um Slug me. No uh no Valorous stance, please. Looking like I'm good here. Oh, they have this stupid thing. I, I knew that. All right, sure. Uh, right. That was that was that was stupid on my part. I forgot. I, I forgot. I cast two spells. Cause the mul the mulch just lands. All right. All right. Back in the. Uh, need to figure out what to do here. Skyclave me. Sure. Shambling. Like, maybe I should have waited a turn and just not flip this back today. The bad news is I have no treasure anymore, so like if I draw the wrath, I can't wrath. The white. Oh my god. This is this is actually preposterous. We're we have twenty two cards left in our deck. Um. All right, let's see go. The nastiest Peril Cathar of all time. They've also drawn five lands and literally all spells. Let's draw a spell. Um, I don't think this matters. So even if I hit the reanimation spell, they'll just brood it again and we just lose. I still need a slug? There's three slugs in our 17 cards? That's not real. Oh, I'm sorry, there's, there's only two. Two slugs in our 17 cards. Uh, I don't, we don't have any outs here. Um, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If two creatures die, I can cast both rebirths. Get back, like... <laughs> I don't even know what I can get back. Alright, well, we're done on board, so whatever. Let's stack. Sorry, no, that was like three to two. Um, I think we're dead though. Yeah, we're just we're just dead to the dead to the brute. All right, we get back. Innkeeper, get back Epicure, and they just die. We die to the brute and the Haven. Yeah. All right. Tough game. Tough game. I mean. Our opponent did draw five lands and literally all spells, and we drew about 17 lands. Uh, so definitely didn't help there for sure, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So all in one. All in one. Maybe they'll screw up, I guess. What are you going to do? They're not going to screw up. All right. Four... I'm 
Most brutal Cathar of all time. Most brutal Cathar of all time. That's fine. Man. That's uh that's some game there. Five lands, all spells. Pretty rough. Oh one. Alright, round two. Let's see if we can fare a little better in this match. Let's see if we fare a little better. On the draw. Hand is passable. It's not great, honestly, but we're gonna keep it. White again, huh? <laughs> No one drop. You mulch me up some uh, some graveyard stuff here. Hopefully, we find a two or three drop to play. Ooh, Field of Ruin Fortel. Okay. Uh, not exactly what you're we expecting. Um, we can do Innkeeper here. Set up for Chariot on turn three. That was a really good draw. That was a really good draw. Wily Goblin, eat your heart out. Alright, so I'm sort of blue white control deck. Alright, well, let it ride. Good old chariot. Doom scar. All right, so obviously they get my thing and like half my chariot. Um, we're gonna play another chariot here and crew and attack. Another Doom Scar would be like annoying, but the chariot's still in play, so whatever, you know. Sure. Doom. <laughs> okay. Brick on the mulch. Brick on the mulch. Uh sure. Didn't we brick? I guess we hit the hunt, the hunt master. We can we can rebrick back hunt master, which is pretty good. So say go. Double field of ruin. We only have one swamp in our deck as far as uh, field of ruin lands. Celestis. Okay. And we're gonna go right to night. They're just tapping out? Alright. I mean, they have a third Doomscar, so be it, I suppose. Let's blood of land here. Hunt Master. It's nighttime, thanks to their uh, generous Celestis offering. Attack ya. Make a token. Don't wrath me, please. You're nine. Can play land here. So we draw. If we draw a land, we get uh, rebirth back the hunt master. If they uh, have another doom scar. Definitely matchup where uh, our our uh, epiphany sure where our um, our slugs aren't as good. Two cards left. A lot of fielder runes. Three fielder runes. Hmm. Fateful absence. Sure. Now I can copy clues with chariot. God, I love it. Goes the day. Loot again. Go to night. Loot again. We draw a mulch. Okay. Um, maybe we're gonna fire up the old chariot. We can actually play Stinger, 
crew with the wolf and the stinger and then sack the stinger, sap the tap, sack the apt wolf. It's kind of cool. Let's mulch first, see what's up. Heh. Alright, sure. It's pretty good. Make sure we're in full control here. Definitely copying the clue. Crew. Cute little trick here. Screw that. Sack the tap wolf. Brought to you. Innkeeper harvester. Alright, sure. And then uh slam jam. Copy the clue. Big up to our opponent for giving us a clue. Thanks, opponent. Appreciate it. Fire in the chumps, take four. Once again, in Doomscar, bust land. We still have a chariot. Clues. Life's pretty good here, honestly. Excuse me. Clue me. Let's clue me into what's going on over here. Fells thing are cool. Good day, sure. Loot, gain a life. Some blue-white control action here, and we're looking pretty nice. Eldamari's call. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, that was really good. So now I get Epicure and Harvester and kill one of the angels. Yeah, that's actually insane. So, make blood. Make blood. Kill angel. And they're dead. You can have the stinger for two more points if you want it. Cool. Cool game. Cool game. Uh, Alright, so. We gotta bring in our duresses and our go blanks. And we gotta cut down. Uh, I think Toxrail is not really where we wanna be. Um. It's funny, the Harvester wasn't actually, that, actually, wasn't actually that bad that game. Seems like a card we're not like super interested in, but we can shave a Rebirth, I think. Um, and then four Duress, three Go Blanks, it's so much. We have all the Nickel and Dime stuff. Uh, maybe shave like two Harvesters and shave... Rebirth is like... We're not really, obviously we're boarding out the, the Tox rolls, so like we don't really need the Rebirth effect, but it's like fine for value later in the game. This is fine, I think. We're honestly just going to be like a Duress Chariot deck for the most part, so just Nickel and Dime, kill some stuff. Duress here, go blank there, play a Chariot. Sure, hands are great. Got that nice curve here. Shambling has and a Blood Tithe Harvester. We can Fell Stinger if we want to. Or we can go blank. One important thing to note, obviously, is we can't duress a foretold Doom Scar, so we need to watch out for that one. Um, that's our green source. That's our black source. Black this. We drew an Innkeeper. So if we draw a Chariot, we'll fire that off. Probably just want to play the Blood Tithe Harvester otherwise. Want to get some damage going. No foretell. Attack for one. Gonna play a green soup. Hold on. Can't play a green source and play the Blood Tithe Harvester. So we're actually gonna play the Blight Step Pathway on red. I wanna get the Harvester in place. So it's just the highest power creature. And I think we're interested in attacking right now. Well, the Blood's some nice extra value too, but. Skyclave Apparition. Um, that was not expected, honestly. We do have Chariot. Uh, that's gross. Uh, what, should I know? what should I know about that? Alright, so... Yeah, we'll attack here. Oh, 
Okay. So do we want to uh want a Felstinger here? Do we want to go blank? I think I want a Felstinger. Just Felstinger. It's like the gas, make a treasure. Draw some cards. I'd like to wait a little longer on the go blank. Try and get some uh some juicy spells out of their hand. Ruins Stadium. So they're the uh, the stadium all runs with any kind of combo deck. You like take a turn attack, take a turn attack, and then win the game with the Strixhaven Stadium, which is a pretty silly card. But All right, we draw a land. We have a chariot lined up. The question is, do I want to try and go blank or wait? I think we're still going to wait. They're going to block. All right. Uh, give us back our thingy as a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. A little flooded, but we got, we got blood. No problem. They can't have any next turn, so... They go like land spell here. We get our last, get the last two cards. Alright, they main phase a deluge. Again, if they go land spell, then blank gets their last two cards as well as a deluge, which is great for us. All right, so they get two cards. They play a land, and they say go. Not really super pumped about firing up the chariot into a possible fateful absence. Um, I think we're just gonna attack and then probably mulch and go blank. Definitely like this to resolve. And the gate here would be pretty sneaky. Just discarding what to uh, discard. They had the absence, so good play, Jim. Played around the absence. And another Deluge. Now they're all exile, which is great. And we're gonna Mulch here. Mulch is gonna mill over a Rebirth. Pretty cool. So we got a land and a Rebirth. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Obviously a little flooded, but we have the blood, so. Rebirth is getting back. Nothing exciting at the moment, but Fortell, sure. All right, we're gonna start by blooding. Playing 22 lands, folks. Just, just saying, we're playing 22 lands. Um, I'm gonna crew. If they have absence, I get to play rebirth, so. Okay. So they kill this. I get a clue. Helps me not flood. And then we'll cast the uh, rebirth, targeting the Felstinger. Not exactly the uh, plan A for the car, but it's fine, you know. Exploit. Target herself. Twenty-two lands in our deck. Okay, Doomscar it is. It's fine. 
22 lands in our deck. Sure. One more land. Come on. Oh man. No fun. No fun. <laughs> our boy must be terrified. We have literally five cards in our hand. Uh, of course, they have no idea. We just literally have five lands in our hand. But. Stadium number two. Sure. Stadium Arcadium. All right. Let's go Epicure. Blood me a land here, please. Might as well be Elvish Visionary at the moment. It's a good one. It's a good one. Don't want it to get countered, obviously, but I don't see how we can not cast this here, so. They're at seven, currently dead in a few swings. Yeah, this is, this is pretty great for us. And I said, what about Alvarin's Epiphany? So obviously they can just go like Epiphany, Epiphany, here we just lose. Because they get to attack with these, pump the stadiums up, tap the stadium, attack, tap the stadium, attack. That's kind of like the combo of a deck. Um, I prefer not to lose the game like that, but, you know, they're going to play multiple Epiphanies. What am I going to do? Three lands in my hands. Closing in on Emmercool mana. Emmercool the Aeon's Torn. That's not good. Uh, Alright, so Teferi can untap the stadium, of course, for more activations. Um, they can't cast Piffany, though. So, we should get a turn here, at least. Definitely want to draw a spell. Definitely want to draw a spell. I don't want to be pickier than anything, but uh. Give me a moment. Or a few. Yeah, Doomsky Army? No? Okay. Oh, that's a spell. That is a spell. Um Yeah, I can't resist that. They had Doomscar, they would have cast it, I think. So. And everything attacks them. No interest in the fairy at all. My interest is to keep these stadiums off. Absence? Okay, that's fine. Kill that. Attack them. Crack the clue, look for duress, something like that. They were to rip a Doomscar here, I guess it would be kind of gross. Um, they've only cast one so far, so it is certainly possible they can rip, rip, rip a Doomscar here. If their last card's Epiphany, uh, we probably also lose, but this thing can look at the top three cards of your library, put one in the hand, rest in the bottom. We have a Crack Clue for Duress or Go Blank. Wow, really? Yeah, the last card's Epiphany for sure. Attacking the fairy seems like a fool's errand, so. Alright, Dresser, go blank, please. Okay, let, I mean, bad tap by the oh, tapper, whatever. Duressia. No, it was actually a Marius call. Interesting. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Alright, just don't chain together epiphanies here, please. Ah, 
Slugs. Slugs. One one. All right, slugs. Round three. Let's go. Let's slug it up here. Yeah, it's fine. A little awkward, but we straw land. Eh, we're not sure. Overgrown farmhand. Farmland for them. Any untapped land here would obviously be awesome. Thalia. All right, so that's annoying. That's also annoying. All right. So, Thalia is obviously pretty insane against our Mulch and our Seekish Chariot, but sort of human deck here. Might be in trouble. Might be in trouble here. Draw. Land. Alright, Blood Tithe Harvester. Sigyo. Kill one or the other. Oh my god. Alright. All right, jeez. So, uh, basically everything that could go wrong here has gone wrong. Uh, they had Thalia on the play against our kind of sketchy hand. They've had the uh, pretty good curve here. We're going to blood away, I think, a Mulch. We just can't really cast Mulch. Again, don't really have much removal in our main deck, so... Yeah, we're just dead. I uh, didn't draw land either. Two, four, yeah, we're super dead. All right, let's not, let's not show them what we're doing. I'm just going to concede. Dolly on the play. Doesn't matter what format it is. It's always good. It's always good. Bring in Toxril, Meat of Massacres, Path of Peril. Uh, we're going to cut the Huntmasters and the Felstingers. It's pretty easy sideboarding. Obviously not quite White Weenie. Probably a little bigger because they won't be up, but um, looks like Green white humans of some kind. I want to remind you there was a companion article to this video, as always, on CoolStuffInc.com. Check that out, of course, as well as my article from last Friday. On the play. Sure. So we go Blood Tithe on two. Kill something. Allenbach Escort. It's a card you can put in your deck, I guess. Harvester, go. So, 1-1 one, one Vigilance. Creature you control with a counter on it gets lifelink and indestructible to end of turn. Aspirant, sure. And again, we have sort of like the Rebirth Wombo combo here, which is kind of cool. And of course, the this won't save the Aspirant from the Blood Tithe Harvester, so... Pretty cool little, like, sub... Uh, Pretty cool little sub. Oh, don't sacrifice it. Please don't sacrifice it. It's not going to save it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it, opponent. Instructable will not save it from my minus X minus X effects. All right, thank you. This little uh, rebirth back the harvester line. I guess we could just, like, save it. Play Epicure and Harvester. Yeah, I'm going to actually just play two new things. We could get it back, but I'd rather just hold this for a possible... possible uh, Boomer later. If we draw any Boomer, we have uh, our Bloods already in play to discard them, so. One of our Slugs. Thalia. Nice Chariot, dum-dum. Alright, so we'll kill Thalia, and we'll uh, get Chariot going. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Blood Tithe Harvester putting in the work. Putting in the work. Okay. Adversary, huh? Pump it up. This, uh, with a plus one, plus one counter. So this does not have a plus one, plus one counter. It has a Valor counter, which is important to note. So this can't, uh, save it. Give him the old hook skis. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, where's that fire and chariot? Pretty happy to trade it, given the option. We have another chariot in our hand. Let's play a chariot game. Cool. Cool. 
Newsflash, Zeke's Chariot's pretty good. Aspirant, sure. Thalia. I mean, meet up for one here is kind of fine. But let's just attack and start there. and everything like if Dahlia wants to eat a cat sure whatever everything else gets through super fine yeah this is like pretty cool are they just dead uh they're at 13 no not, not, not even close all right uh and then we just uh do we give them the hook for one here Kill Aspirant and Escort? I think so. I think so. So, 21 to 12. With a thousand cats in play and a chariot and a meat of massacre. Elite Spellbinder. A little annoying, but not the end of the world. Cost reduction will still play through, so if things die, we can get it back. Epicure, sure. Pretty happy just jamming again. Sweet. Game three, let's go. Don't soul shatter against them? I don't think so. I don't think so. Just say go. Let it ride. I want to get my slug going. Where are my slugs at? Where are my slugs at? So on the draw, always a scary place to be against the Thalia deck. But what are we going to do? Oh, there are slugs. Found them. <laughs> Look at this hand. Look at this hand. All right, we're going to mulligan. This hand gets ranched by Thalia, but sure, I guess. Keep this. God, this would be a great seven card hand, you know? Um, I guess we just, just ditch the Epicure. We'll just play Harvester on two. So we gotta play Tapland on one, so. I wanna keep Mulch and Rebirth, obviously, so. That's not a bad draw. So I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a Black Land, actually. Let's play this. Say so Thalia, I have Harvester, which is fine. Alright, Thalia's good. Path of Peril is also good. That's a nice draw. It's a nice pickup. Make a Blood, say go. Of course, Harvester can kill the Thalia. And we can also do the All Rebirth trick again, which is kind of cool. Uh, Alright, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Need Spellbinders trying to wreck our day. Goodbye, Path of Peril. Oh, hello. How do you do? Um, interesting thought here. Do I just want to mulch and make land drops for Meat of Massacre? Um, Massacre for one is pretty wild. I'm going to mulch here and try and set up a good Massacre. Two lands? Awesome. Going to try and put ourselves in a spot where they just like play an X2 here or an X3. And I get to shrink it and then finish off with the Massacre. Oh my god. Oh, folks. Uh, you, you, 
if you have any small children watching, I encourage you to uh, to cover their eyes, tell them to put their fingers in their ears, and uh, do the whole la 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 because this is not fit for uh oh this is this is not fit for not fit for children. Um, actually, we're one short. We're one short. Um, we can't kill Adeline. Can't quite kill Adeline. But Mito for one is still pretty absurd. Huh. Alright, it's Mito for one. Just take it. Just take it now. Whatever. Harvester's still in play. I can block the token. Maybe kill this next turn. Still really, really good. Adeline makes it not, like, ridiculous, but... And then we'll say go. Heh. <laughs> Dolly's back. Take three. Rebirth. Okay. Nothing really to rebirth here. I really, we just can't find our slugs, you know? Just can't find our slugs. Um, we just chariot here. We can't innkeeper chariot. If we wanted to kill the Thalia, we could innkeeper chariot, but that seems unnecessary. Eh, maybe it's good actually. No, let's hold it. Let's play chariots. They go. Not really in a rush to do anything here. Savior of Allenbach. Um, that is a card you can put in your deck, I guess. Okay. This has to train. Very powerful card, but... So, they're offering us to trade Adeline for a Seekus Chariot. And uh, I'm kind of down with that trade, honestly. Blood Scythe Harvester for days. Um, okay. And we gotta kill this uh, savior before they can attack with it. Alright, this is like fine, so we'll kill this. Let's play Innkeeper Harvester. Not gonna lie, I've been pretty impressed with Blood Scythe Harvester. Um, Alright, Adeline's back. Seems fine. Okay. Shambling guest. Um, now I can kill Adeline too and just get it back. Alright, this is like... Definitely not our plan A. We just can't find our slugs to save our life, but we're still just, like, doing some pretty good stuff. Yeah, like, kind of sad we didn't slug anybody, honestly, but um, it's kind of cool also that the the rest of the deck is also functional without actually getting slug in place. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's like a little look, look, a little looky loo here. Slug's obviously very, very good. We only had it in play once or twice. When we had it in play, it was pretty insane. Um... And then the rest of the deck is just a cool, kind of sacrifice-y, grindy deck, which is sweet. A little light removal in the main deck, for sure, um, which is a bit of a mild concern. But um, obviously trying to lean on 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 old Toxie to get that done. And the sideboard, the Medic Massacres were obviously awesome. Uh, Path of Peril is pretty cool. Just a really fun deck. Just looks awesome. Again, um, Felix Slew's deck. Uh, I changed a few cards, but they top eight at a standard challenge with this, with this deck, uh, Magic Online. And uh, looks like a pretty fun alternative to your... Uh, Mono white, mono green, epiphany madness in standard. And uh, if you're playing a giant slug, can't be sad, right? Can't be sad. So, I'm Dave Davis or cool stuff, inks.com. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll see you fine folks uh, here every Monday, of course. Thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate it. Have a good one.